coach. So happy you found us on YouTube. Make sure you go over and subscribe. That's really important. Um, that way you'll get notifications. We put one of these up every day. Also, go over and check out teachups.com for coaches who want to get better. You want to win more games in less time from someone that's done it. Let me help you. I was where you were at one point, um, took over losing season, won multiple state titles. Let me help you become a better basketball coach at teachups.com. Let's head off to the uh, YouTube channel. Bye. Here we go. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Coaching Youth Hoops. Coach, I'm excited for next week, man. The big Coach, launch. What's next week, Coach? The big launch of Coaching Huge Youth launch. Hoops. And I know some of you that have listened have already jumped in. Um but those of you that haven't, thank you. Yeah, the ones that have, thank you. Yeah, and I'm sure we've reached out um, and probably gotten some input from you um, as we're still building. Uh, but those of you that have not, we want to jump in ASAP. Um, prices will never be lower, and you have a chance to win one of those IC threes um, from Doctor Dish. Six hundred bucks if you go online and buy it. So you can have a chance if you, but you got to be signed up by next Wednesday um, or it will be a no go. It will be a no go. And <laughs> like Steve said, it'll never be cheaper. This is the introductory price. We want to learn from you guys. Um, it's only going to go up from there. And it's even if you're not thinking about basketball right now, right? You're going to, yes, right? And it's coming up. So uh, jump in, jump in right jump now. Jump in, get the only practice plan. Price for the entire year. Yes. So it's not paying monthly. It's crazy. The price is too low. Anyway, the price is too low. <laughs> what did you start teach hoops? Did you tell me $27? No, no uh no, 19. No, no. It was 19. Oh, it, was, it was that low. It was a month. A month. A month. Yeah. Yes. Not for a year. It was 199 no, for, for a year. year. Yeah. yeah, 19. So this is, I mean, anyway, I can tell you right now, I'm draw I'm flying to California if he doesn't raise the prices on May 4th. So I'm just telling you, because it's too, it's too, it's, we're, we're giving it away, but we're giving it away to our beta members. Yeah. Um, and if we get too many beta members, we're going to close the doors. I'm just, yeah, well, Coach I and I haven't talked about that, but we're going to close the doors if we get too many members. Um, all right. So what's today? Today's your, what was your, it's your topic, right? Lack of. Yeah, it's it, yeah. it's overcoming lack of experience. So if you're a new coach, haven't coached before, or maybe you got one year under your belt, maybe you played, but you haven't coached I that's it, you know. Don't let that stop you, right? And we're gonna we're gonna dive into uh, kind of maybe creating your roadmap and what you need to do. Um, and again, good segue into Coaching Youth Hoops uh, website dot com. Um, let me say that again: Coaching Youth Hoops dot com website. <laughs> yes. um, joining that because you're gonna have all the answers in there. Uh, right. But I think it's really important. I hear this a lot. Hey, I've never coached before. What do you think I should do here? I've never coached before. How do you handle this? And um, it is scary the first time you're going to stand in front of parents and kids and say, hi, I'm your fourth grade basketball coach. And this is my first time. Right. right. Um, you know, and their parents are looking at you like, oh, we better win. Right. Right. <laughs> So, and how am I going to do that? Yes. Yeah. So, the, yeah, I mean, it is, a, it is a scary thing. I agree. Um, yeah. So, and, and, and it's a, it is a difficult process, but we'll help you through that process. Yeah. Um, we'll give you checklists. We'll give you things you need uh, to have that parent meeting, how to maybe talk to the head coach. If you're a feeder to the high school team, it's like, whatever it is. Um, that's uh, it, so lack of experience is okay because I yeah. always look at it in terms of um in terms of a blank slate at that point um yeah well i, I remember my yeah I, I remember coaching my first team i you know i played but i never coached so i didn't know what i didn't know so i mean i just i just you know i sat and i thought okay what do i need to do what did my coaches before do Right, um, and I just kind of follow that, and that's the problem, and, that, and that's the issue is lot, most coaches pull from their experiences, and we want to help right. you pull from those experiences, but we want to give you some new things, some new. That's right, because your experience is probably a little bit dated. Dated a little bit, you know. You yeah. was small sided games used a lot when you're. I don't know, maybe. Um, maybe we didn't call them that. Maybe we, we didn't. didn't. We we, we I've been using them for thirty right. years. Just someone yeah. named them. Um, yeah. but no, I think that's, I think lack of experience is, is okay. But then what are you going to do with that? Like, I mean, again, it was me with 
coaching baseball with my son. I had a lack of experience doing it. So what did I do? I got some books. I did some reading. I got online. I did all the things to, 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 to gap that lack of experience because I wanted to give him and all his friends the best experience they could have. So lack of experience isn't a bad thing. It's more what you're going to do with that lack of experience, I think. Well, I wrote down seven things that I think that coaches could do. And and I think that we'll, we'll, we'll think. I know we will address these in the um, in coaching youth hoops. So one is the fun, just learn the fundamentals, right? And if you played before, you kind of understand, right? You know, solid understanding of the rules, basic skills, strategies of the game, okay? Um, two is a organized practice plan. I think that's it, right? Right. Um, uh, you know, setting, uh, you know, that also, that should also include setting expectations and establishing roles and communicating with players and parents. Um, and I think this is key, having a growth mindset because uh, you, you got to learn, you got to be open, right? You have to be open, open to accepting this, you know, new ideas and yep. feedback and um, learning from your mistakes, right? So you have to have that mindset. I also think that the support network, um, another coach, an assistant coach, um, our Facebook group, uh, all of those things, you know, having that stuff didn't exist when we first started. Who do you turn to, right? Yeah. Uh, and get those and maybe there's, maybe you're part of a youth organization too, and you can ask them. Yeah, I mean, that's, right. that's, that's another thing. Yeah. Um, and then what's the, you know, have the big picture in mind. What is the, what is your why? What's the ultimate goal of the team that you're coaching? What do you want? You know, you're at day one. Where do you want to be on day whatever, your last practice? What's defined success, right? How are you going to deal with failure? Um, have all of those things kind of thought through so it's not a surprise when it gets there, right? Um, and I think this is probably number one. It should have been down further. on my. It should not have been down on my list, which is, Make it enjoyable and have fun. Right. It, right. It, we play basketball, right? It's not work. We don't work basketball. We play basketball. And right. I think that's so key. Right. Make no, sure I that think those are all, I mean, yeah, I, it, it's going through those steps. And like you always talk about, it's a roadmap. It's the, roadmap. are you doing these specific things? And and that's, and I'll give a little bit of advice for all the coaches that have lack of experience is once you, I always think about post-practice. Um, what went well, what didn't, because as a teacher, you know, I always tell kids, you don't want to have me first hour and you don't want to have me seventh hour because seventh hour I'm tired and first hour I'm working out the kinks, even though I've done it before. It's the second or third because I think about, oh, that didn't go well. I'm going to move that over here. I'm going to do this differently. You should do the same thing with your practices um, or, or what you're developing or your parent things or all that. Like um, I always use, I always consider post-practice when I'm driving home is post-practice. I'm going to think That's about good. what went well, what didn't go well, what can we keep, what can we not keep? Um, and that's, you know, again, lack of experience. You don't necessarily think about that, but that's a golden nugget for for all yeah. of you. And, um, and I think what's going to be important too is, is to stay the course, stay committed because it's going to show. And the, the kids are going to pick up that you care. And when you care, you're going to get their respect. And at the end of the day, it's going to be, you're going to have better practices with those kids. All the time. All right. Anything else, coach? Uh, you know, I, again, I think what we're what we're building here is, can I call it a master class for youth coaches? I mean, it's I don't know. That's probably trademarked, but you know, we'll call it notes for coaches. Coaching, I mean, coaching classroom. We call it coaching classroom or coaching you or no? Some of these coaching you are already taken. Yeah. Something like that. Yes, I know what you're saying. Yeah, it's everything there. It's the you... bucket. It's the basketball bucket. There you That's go. Right. Everything, everything's in the bucket that you're going to Everything's need. in there. Everything's in there. All right. It's... Until And then and then next week. Next Big week, launch. Big launch. I'm excited. Yeah, we're we're going to send out announcements. You're going to uh, go join the Facebook group. We'll put it in there. We're going to have a big announcement. We're going to draw the winner live. Um, yep. And we're going to give some golden nuggets in that in that launch that's right yeah so you can just come to the launch too if you want but it'd be silly not to join okay coaching youth all right till next week coach till next week hey coach so happy you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe and like go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better